making lead 2 sulfate. In this experiment, we'll be reacting lead 2 nitrate with sodium sulfate, but we start by weighing this fluted filter paper in an evaporating basin. And that's 55.24 grams, 55.24. We're going to carry out the reaction in a boiling tube here and we take 20 centimetres cubed of 0 0.04 molar lead 2 nitrate. 20 centimetres cubed of 0 0.04 molar lead 2 nitrate. Lead compounds are of course toxic and so we want to be careful of that. Into that we're going to react it with 7 centimetres cubed of 0 0.2 molar sodium sulphate. So this is sodium sulphate seven centimeters cubed of 0.2 molar. You'll be able to work out by calculation which of the reagents should be in excess. So here's the reaction between sodium sulfate and lead to nitrate. As you can see a white solid, a white precipitate is immediately formed. We'll just give them a swirl to make sure that they're well reacted together there and the next step in the experiment is to filter out the white solid the white precipitate so we've got our funnel here and our conical flask into that we place the fluted filter paper and we should be able to pour some of the reaction mixture into that there it goes it's the first batch you can see we've got rather more than the filter paper will take on one run so we'll pause the video and wait for that to filter through. Well the filtration of our precipitate is quite rapid and we're now ready to add the second batch in it goes and we also need to rinse out the boiling tube with distilled water, making sure not to contaminate the tip of the wash bottle as we do so. Once more we'll pause the video whilst the solid filters there. Now that we've filtered the precipitate from the reaction mixture, the next stage is to wash the material to remove any impurities. So we do that carefully with the wash bottle. And the distilled water should wash away any insoluble uh, impurities contaminating the product. One small wheel Pause the video whilst that filters through. Now that the precipitate has finished filtering, the last thing we need to do is to transfer the filter paper to the evaporating basin and then place that in a drying cabinet to dry and remove all the water. Well, let's transfer the precipitate to the drying cabinet. So here. So in it goes on the top shelf and we leave to dry completely. Now that the precipitate has dried, we need to find the mass of the product. And we do that simply by transferring to the balance and weighing the total mass. 55.44 grams, 55.44 grams and from our readings we can calculate the mass of the lead to sulphate produced and also calculate the percentage yield.